So with all of the James Charles, Tati Westbrook drama going on, I couldn't help but think about all the other people who are caught in the crossfire of this thing. So in this video, I wanna talk about Tana Mojo, but more importantly, see what kind of lessons we can pull from this thing. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and try to turn this mess into a message. Because my personal philosophy is, what good is consuming all of this content, all the drama, all the things happening, and we're not trying to see how we can apply it to our own lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I, I have just video ideas and topics just going crazy in my head and like, again, the purpose of these videos is to explain the situation, explain what's going on and just like how I, I think about these, I think about all the other situations and I'm like, I wonder if there's any lessons that we could pull from this thing because one of the issues that a lot of us struggle with is when we're in friend groups, right? Like when we have a group of friends and this person doesn't like this person or this person doesn't like this person or this these two people have beef, like what's going on? And Tana Mojo is kind of caught up in the middle of this thing. So with this, obviously, you know, when this first started kind of bubbling up and Tati Westbrook first made her Instagram live stream against James Charles, there was a lot of, you know, speculation and things like that of people taking sides and more has come out, but Tati Westbrook even addressed like Shane Dawson being in, uh, you know, in, uh, in a video with her and then playing around, you know, with makeup and everything. And then Jeffree Star, you know, he's he's talked about some situations. So I'm gonna make a video. I'm, I'm going to make another video just explaining like cancel culture, James Charles and like what what should his his sentence be right like when we look at these situations when anything blows up what should somebody's sentence be like i don't know if any of you watch coffee break but he has a whole thing on public shaming and everything like that but anyways it's got to be rough losing these friends because one of the first times i had no idea who james charles was but i was a fan of shane dawson and i remember when shane dawson did his mini series with jeffree star that's when I was introduced to James Charles, right? When uh, James Charles went over to Jeffrey's house and they did up Shane Dawson and everything like that. And most recently, you know, Tana Mojo has had James Charles back when it comes to the Gage Gomez situation. Um, Tana Mojo was, you know, she, she, she publicly was there for James and she also like even DM'd Gage and like Tana is pretty ride or die, right? And now I just can't help but think because obviously Tana Mojo is friends with Shane Dawson and everything like that. And it gets all complicated with this network of friends. So what I want to talk about is when, when somebody's going through something, like somebody in your friend group, like I think, I think it's really easy for people to just stop and like turn their back on somebody. And it, it's really easy to do these things, but I don't know, I've had my, my criticisms of Tana Mojo in the past, but she's this really like ride or die type of person. And what's interesting about Tana Mojo too is that like she is very against cancel culture. She's been very vocal about that, right? And when it comes to friends, like I, I am somebody who is a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, and I get it, man. Like, I get it. Like, you guys, and, and here's the thing. Like, I, <laughs> in my past, like in my younger days when I was addicted to opioids and alcohol, like, I did things that might be, I don't know, objectively or for some people subjectively worse than what James Charles did. I was not a great person. I was not a great human being, right? And... I can kind of empathize with him because a bunch of people cut me off. When I first got sober, I had very few friends, right? But I did have a couple ride or die friends who stuck by my side. Like they realized like I screwed up and that I was trying to get better. But here's the thing, like one of my best friends, one of my best friends in the world who I grew up with, she's like a sister to me. 
When I went into the hospital like almost seven years ago to this day that I'm recording this video, I went into the hospital with congestive heart failure, like a 10% chance of living, all these other things. And when I got out and I got sober and I started getting on my feet, like she basically told me, she said, Chris, I'm here for you. Like you've been screwing up, I'm here for you. But listen, like this is your last chance with me. If you don't get your act together, I'm done. And like that, that really helped me out because it was a form of accountability. I already lost other friends. So like, it wasn't this kind of like idle threat. I knew friends and family members would cut me off if I didn't get my act together, right? But she gave me like this, this one last chance because she knew that I understood the severity of my situation. And like one of the things that we always gotta be careful of when it comes to sticking around with our friends, even after they've screwed up, is teetering between the line of supportive and enabling right like when we stick around when somebody keeps screwing up when we stick around when a person doesn't change when we stick around through all of that now we're enabling them right and i don't know like that that's kind of what i'm curious about when it comes to tana mojo and the dynamic with james charles like will she stick around no matter what because we all need ride or die people in our corner we all need people in our corner who are going to be there for us no matter what. Hell, I've made vi videos about Gypsy Rose Blanchard recently. Gypsy Rose Blanchard has people in her family who's like, have her back, obviously, you know, much different situation, but like, we all need somebody. So, like, Tana Mojo, I'm hoping is going to be there for James because he's, he's lost a lot of people recently, but is she going to stick around even if he doesn't change? You know what I mean? But the last thing I kind of want to touch on in this video is just how friend groups can get broken up and all of this stuff. And this is a difficult situation for anybody. If you've ever been in this situation, like I'm thinking about all of the different people involved in this because all of these friend groups are intertwined. And, and here's the thing, like, I'm looking back at my own history of like friend groups and like things happening and all those other things. And at the end of the day, I think for a lot of us, you know, forgiveness is huge, empathy is huge, giving people another chance, like having these conversations. It sucks for these people because it's all played out so publicly, you know? And, and here's the thing. Like if I were to put myself in somebody like, in somebody's shoes, right? In somebody's shoes, like in this situation, a Shane Dawson or Tana Mojo or whoever it is, I would, I would totally understand in Tati's realm, right? In Tati's corner, like, listen, I understand why you gotta be dumb with James. I understand that. That makes sense to me. You know what I mean? But on the other hand, it's like, I'm still, I, I'm gonna talk to him and see see if there's any change or anything like that, that, you know, he's willing to make or anything. Because at the end of the day, only time's gonna tell with this situation. Only time's gonna tell. Like, James Charles just released that, that apology video yesterday. And to be honest, to be honest, like a lot of people are like <laughs> saying how awful it was. I've seen many apology videos in my day. That one wasn't too bad, all right? But we, we, we struggle with this like black and white thinking a lot of a lot of the time. And while James Charles has had all of his screw ups over this time, and it seems like Tati like was much more hurt than some other people might be in the situation unless more stories come out. But at the end of the day, like we need to realize that there are gray areas. And something that I just keep trying to teach people is that we need to separate the behaviors from the person. You know what I mean? To like just condemn somebody for their behaviors and not understand like, you know, that that people grow, people change and everything. And hell, it might take James Charles years for that to happen, you know? Like I have had, per I have had people in my life come back years later and just understand that I'm a new person, I'm a different person. But hell, like for some people it took years. It took people years to forgive me. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like with everything that James Charles is going through right now, like I would hope, I would hope that somebody like Tana Mojo, like at least sticks around for him because 
I can see other people separating themselves from him, like, or they can't even publicly defend him because the hate mob will just come for them. But I hope, I'm hoping for James Charles' mental and emotional well-being behind the scenes that somebody like Tana Mojo is at least there for him. You know what I mean? Because again, at the end of the day, we all need somebody in our corner, no matter what we're going through. All right, but let me know down in the comments below, have you ever struggled with this where you're in a friend group and you know something like this happened and you're forced to, or you feel like you're forced to take sides or anything like that? Or like, how have you dealt with that situation? Because this is something that happens to a lot, a lot of people, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I'm always trying to take this mess and turn it into a message. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, get your name on these beautiful credits and get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.